Welcome back, folks. It is 510 on this terrific Tuesday evening. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's talk weather right now as we take a look outside at America's Mattress Live Tower Cam. We've got clear skies. Those clear skies will continue with us throughout this evening. Even as we wake up tomorrow, we can expect lots and lots of sunshine, similar to what we were feeling earlier today. And that'll continue with us at least through Thursday afternoon, Thursday late night into Friday. We do have well some unsettled weather, some winter weather that will be headed on into the area. As we take a look at our weather headlines, we're going to notice that the reason why we have these clear skies right now is actually due to the same high pressure ridge that's been continuing to build over the Great Basin and over those West Mountains, and it'll soon center itself right over Western Colorado to give us those peak temperatures into essentially tomorrow. Uh, so that does mean that temperatures five or five. 10, even 15 degrees above those seasonal averages during the afternoon, noon hours and evening hours are above those averages, but not by much. We're still in that sub freezing range. Well, because it's December, we're also going to notice, like I mentioned, winter weather headed in on Friday. As we take a look here, this is that high pressure ridge I've been mentioning, and it'll continue to amplify and kind of make its way across the rest of the state of Colorado. But the specific northwest low pressure trough will start to make its way on in, and that's what's going to give us that decrease in temperatures, not only on Friday, but also that unsettled weather well as soon as early early Friday hours and in terms of snow cover right now that we can see through the western slope double digits of 38 through Steamboat Springs 20 in Aspen Gunnison seeing 13 Telluride 16 over the city of Montrose there's not too much snow coverage but even as we take a look outside right now at Montrose's live tower cam we've got some snow coverage in those higher elevation regions to a minimum though just about a quarter of an inch maybe half an inch in some of those areas that have been shaded but I do want to remind you it's avalanche season right now over the northern mountains and even over Telluride we're in that considerable uh, category so at that three so not too high but especially if you're headed into those higher elevation zones and driving on those roads be cautious and just stay aware because this could be you as those uh, well av avalanche dangers increase especially with this upcoming winter storm and make sure to report these even if you see it on the side of I-70 or the side of any road even if it's small and I do want to check chat about winter driving. I've said it before, I'm going to say it again, especially with this upcoming holiday season, travel is going to be more prominent. So drive slow, avoid travel if you can, and of course, pack patience on those roads. Currently, it's feeling 48 in Grand Junction, 45 as we look towards Montrose. Further east, we are feeling in those 30s, soon to drop into those sub-freezing ranges, and we'll notice in our almanac that we are well above those seasonal averages at 56 instead of that typical 42. Low end of things, 27 instead of 21, so still in that sub-freezing zone, but not by much. Much, but we are pushing about six degrees above what we're typically used to. Now, as we also take a look into tomorrow, we're still looking at above average temperatures as this high pressure continually pushes a lot of dry and warm air for us here locally. We'll notice tomorrow 55 in Grand Junction, 53 in Montrose, and Discovery Auto Group's seven day forecast will show that that's continuing to be the trend. We'll even notice on Thursday, 53 is still that afternoon high, but like I mentioned, moisture and a cold front moving on in for Friday. 70% chance for snow showers through. Grand Junction in Montrose is just a few degrees cooler, but as we look towards Friday and the weekend, that drop in temperatures is coming alongside those winter storms.